maybe you've enjoyed Stranger Things on Netflix. Mm -hmm. We both have. I have not. Yes, you have. <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> liar. <laughs> and um, and of course, there's uh, some D and D stuff in that show, which which is cool. Mm -hmm. Well, they've announced Hasbro is working on a card game of Stranger Things that is ego related. Uh, and a, a two for one. A two for one. That's right. If you love egos or Stranger Things, you can buy this game. Essentially, it is Uno. Is from the sounds of it, where you're gonna you're actually gonna be picking a character from the show, and you're trying to get rid of the cards in your hand. You're playing reverses, etc. But there's a, like sort of a twist where you can be sent to the upside down somehow, or and then make your way back. But it's that basically a fancy licensed version of Uno. Um, this will probably be all the rage at uh, Christmas this year everywhere at Target, I'm assuming. You're going to see this. Now, I know probably going off when you saying that, you're probably like, oh, it's just Uno mm -hmm. in your head. Mm -hmm. But I almost like that a little bit because Stranger Things, you know, a lot of it is, you know, the childhood 80s sort of. That's true. That's and true. And to make it like we that basic game that people are more likely to play back then almost fits more. So, like... I mean, I mean, it's not that complicated game and delves into the, you know, the actual interesting story and plot lines that Stranger Things actually presents in its show, but it almost still fits really nicely because of that. Yeah, I mean, I can't blame them for making this game. Right. I'm not, I can't get mad about, like, an obvious correct marketing decision. <laughs> they're they're going to make money off it and it's simple, and it could be, you know, like you said, an all right filler game. And yeah, that, I think that there's, some, there's something to be said for that, for that sort of incidental theming that they probably I mean, did not intend. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's just something that is sort of nice just to, for if you are a fan you're disappointed you can see at least it fits the world I guess would be. Yeah. They could have they done one better and just made an RPG. <laughs> oh I wish. Um, I feel like every time there's some show we like that has some kind of depth it's like that would make an RPG. Well, I mean, if you want to go with the 80s theme, I mean, that's literally, they play it in the right. show. But uh, also, just, it is, for Stranger Things, there's so many avenues you could explore for a well, board I mean, game. And we'll see what happens with uh, Season is, is 2. Is it called Season 2? I'm not sure. I think technically they're just calling it Stranger Things 2. Yeah, I wasn't sure about that. That's yeah, it's like, Season 2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if you want this Ego game, I'm not sure exactly when it's coming out, but soon. I, I would imagine around the time the show premieres, which is later this month. I mean, that, that would be a marketing mistake. <laughs> <to have laughs> it really too. would. That, that would. They would really be leg-going those sales. <laughs> but <I'm, shh. laughs> It's not even... No. If you enjoyed this video, it was just a snippet of our full-length podcast, which you can find on our YouTube channel every week. So please go ahead, like, and subscribe for more board game-related content coming at you in the future. And don't forget to check out RollForCrate.com, where we actually sell a lot of the games we talked about, as well as post news and all our other videos. Until then, I'm Will Keeler. I'm Jonathan Estes, and this is Roll for Crit.